Hey you guys, you're watching Square Faced Vision. I'm Jules Hallam and you've joined us underground at the Bowery where we're sitting down with Nina Nesbitt. Thanks Hello. a lot for joining us Thanks today, for having me. Nina. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I was going to start by saying how are you feeling about the little tour, but mm -hmm. you must almost be getting sick of touring recently. You've been doing it so much. <laughs> um, not at all, but yeah, I've been touring lots at the moment. Um, you kind of, kind of get into the get into the feel of it after the first date and just keep going. But mm. I, love, I love being on the road, I love seeing different places, so... You must have been um, slightly surprised about how this year started for you, because mm. so much has happened, like the mm, tour yeah. with Ed Sheeran mm. in March, and then mm. next month you're going to be touring with Example as well, so it's yeah, yeah, all it's, happening. It's amazing to be like, invited back on tour by them both, and um, yeah, it's such a great opportunity, yeah. Good. Do you feel like it has just happened, or have you been working towards this um, for quite a long no, time? No, I've, I've worked very hard um, throughout the whole of 2011, um, and this year as well, um, like releasing an EP and starting to have my own headline dates, and um, yeah, lots, lots of stuff been going on. Talking of releases, you mm -hmm. just uh, released The Apple Tree, mm -hmm. 23rd of April. Yeah, it came Is that your first release? Um, second release. I had one that's a live take EP, and um, this one just came out this week. Yeah. How are you feeling about it? Well, it's like I was I've, like absolutely shocked how well it's done. It got into like number six on the album charts. Wow, is, really? And today it just went into the actual official UK top forty, <coughs> which was absolutely it's fantastic. Nuts! Like I didn't yeah, even yeah. expect it. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's cool. <laughs> when you um, when you started out playing music, we mm -hmm. is this what you were sort of expecting or hoping for or are um, you just never, doing your thing? I've never expected anything to be honest. I've, I've always like dreamt of getting this far and still got a long way to go in my mind but um, yeah, it's, it's cool. When did you start playing music? Um, I've been writing and singing for like ages but I started gigging last May <laughs> so it's Oh really? It's been, a, it's been a crazy 11 months, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. If you've only just started doing gigs and mm. suddenly you're doing really big gigs. Yeah, my 10th gig was like in an arena, which is quite mad, but I wasn't that nervous because it's, it's not as personal, so... Okay, so it's like because there are so many people, it's almost like yeah. they're not even there. Well, I don't know, it's really surreal. I feel like you're in a dream. Experience. Yeah, I can imagine. Mm. Do you ever suffer from nerves for gigs? Not really, no. no. Unless I know that my friends are there, or it's a small gig, I get a bit nervous. Oh, so you find the more intimate ones more difficult because yeah, or there's people there that I know, know as well because I'm like, want to like prove myself almost. But yeah, big gigs, I'm I'm fine with. Have you found that the people that you're perhaps referring to in these more intimate gigs, mm -hmm. have they been with you from the start, or are they just suddenly seeing, wow, you're doing great things in your music? Um, well. Yeah, I guess it's just kind of people that have found found the EPs or heard about me through YouTube or something, I guess. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, just now we were talking a little bit about Camden Market mm. and I was recommending some of the different uh, yeah. fashion outlets that you can yeah. check out up there. I get the feeling that fashion's quite a big part of your your lifestyle. Yeah, definitely. I'm really into fashion. Um, if I wasn't doing music, I'd probably want to be a fashion designer, so definitely it's a big part of it. Um, yeah, I love like urban outfitters and stuff like that, or a little vintage shop. Okay, what, what would be the first item of clothing that you'd like to design? Um, cardigan. Cardigan? Just to be different. <laughs> like, okay. I, I, I call it grandma chic. It's okay, like, so um, are we talking like knitted <laughs> yeah. and like long weaves and that yeah. sort of thing? Okay, yeah. what colour? Uh, burgundy. Burgundy? Mm. Grandma chic all mm -hmm. the way. Yeah. Nina, I'd like to address rumours that have been floating around and quite rife. Um, people have been saying that um, obviously you know Ed Sheeran through touring with mm. him, but people are saying that you're slightly more acquainted than that <laughs> and that you're actually dating. Yeah. <laughs> Can you put any truth to that? I think rumours are just great. They just tell you things that you didn't know about yourself. Um, no, we're not. We're not dating. Um, I'm not really sure where that's come from. Oh, really? So that's yeah, just, just I mean, people like, speculating. We are really close friends, and um, yeah, we've we've toured a lot together and stuff like that. And I think we're both young, both play similar music, and I guess people just maybe like the idea of it and thought let's mm. get them together. Okay. Do you like the idea of it? Well, I'm not out of them, so no. <laughs> um, 
I guess then it's just a case of you guys, as you say, you're both in a similar mm -hmm. boat, so it's yeah. like you're going to get on naturally, but it doesn't mean yeah, um, there's anything no, past that. Music's what I'm focusing on just now. I'm really, um, I'm quite taken aback by your age because I did an interview with a girl called uh, Greta Isaac who is a fantastic singer-songwriter like you from Wales. She was really shy about her music and, mm. you know, it was kind of just her secret little thing whereas you, you're the same age but it's like, yeah, this is what I do. Yeah, yeah, I, I take it quite seriously. It's, it's my job, so um, it's like somebody works in a shop and working in music. Mm. And this might sound a little harsh, but do you think that it's helped you grow up, you know, like grow into the yeah, definitely how you see yourself? I've, I've matured a lot over the past few months with all the kind of stuff that's been going on, definitely, and being able to travel about the world as well, definitely. Okay, how, how much of the world have you seen? Uh, well, I've been around Europe. Awesome. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, you've got to start somewhere. Yeah, you've got to start somewhere. So what else can we expect for you in 2012? Um, festivals, um, more headline dates, um, and hopefully some singles maybe, and I think an album at the beginning of next year. Really? That soon? Mm. Have you got enough material together or are you working yeah, on it at the moment? more or less written my album. Wow. Now, so it's kind of just needs to be recorded. Yeah, so. yeah. Have you got any working titles at the moment? Um, I'll keep that a secret. Ah, oh, dangling the, the <laughs> carrot of false hope in front of me. Well, Nina, listen, best of luck. It's been Thank lovely you. chatting with you this afternoon. Thank you, well, you too. best of luck with it all. Thank you. Thanks.